What's going on guys? After a long work day, I'm ready to go home and relax. I got done with rebuilding that rear end today in that 17 F-150, that little 3.5 NA motor. Um, so uh, what I did was I put new carrier bearing, new um, race, new crush sleeve, uh, shimmed it, turning torque I, I set it right at uh i want to say like 24 inch pounds the spec is between 16 and 29 my last torque sequence i got uh, put it right at 24 inch pounds so i left it alone it was perfect um and then it, it actually got new uh carrier the actual carrier bearings themselves were replaced, the ring was replaced, the pinion was replaced, the whole rear end was basically replaced. Everything inside that was replaced. Um, the fleet company thought it would be better that we just go ahead and do that because with little shavings of metal and spider gear, protective coating and surface worn off, they didn't even want a chance going back together. They just said do it. I gave them the option. I said, look, I could throw a seal in this and fill it up and let it go or we can just rebuild it. And they said, you know what, just rebuild it don't even want to take a chance because then what happens we got to come back into this thing we got to do it again just do it so they let me do it right i got it all put back together everything's quiet and then um the truck needed a wheel bearing so i put a wheel bearing on it and then it had that 19 g01 block heater cord so i went ahead and did the 19 g01 block heater cord but i didn't get back to a lot of people today i haven't been commenting back as much because i wanted to focus on getting this job done um, and then I threw out that video this morning, that 20 minute video on uh, the flow through dash removal and how to do certain things in the F-150s and the wrappers, things of that nature. So I went ahead and took care of that this morning. Like I said, I would, I uh, got down to the specifics where the bolt goes, how to do this, how to angle that. So I made sure I had all the questions that were asked yesterday about how to get to these areas and how to put them together, take them apart. So I did that. Um, I was going to take some pictures going back together to show people the difference between the carrier assembly before and after to show a lot of the guys that were like, oh, there's nothing wrong with that. Just slap it back together, put a seal in it, throw some oil in it, let it go down the road another 30,000 miles before it starts howling and acting up again. It's not the answer to fix the problem the right way. I understand that's how some guys want to do it. So I was going to take some pictures before and after to show people the, the damage compared to a fresh unit versus something that's just been beat and wore out. And when I was going to pull the chunk out, the actual spacers that go on the side of the carrier, one of them fell and busted. Yeah. Big old giant hole right in the center of my phone. And now I can't get to any of the stuff on the bottom of my screen here. All this is blacked out. So I was like, you know what? I gotta go get a phone. So I went, I'm here at the phone place right now. I'm like Starbucks and everything behind me. And uh, I said, I'm just gonna go ahead and grab another phone. And if I abuse it and break it again, I'm just gonna buy something cheap. But I didn't know they actually have whatever this thing is called it's it's called a uh, it's called a LG Moto G power or something like that and it's supposed to have like a 64 megapixel front facing camera with like it's got four different lenses in it and I've heard people say it's a really really cheap phone uh, it's not good for doing any kind of like video games or anything on but if you're going to actually video and get in close and stuff like that, save yourself the money. Don't go out and, and buy an S21 and stuff. Yeah, it's great. But this phone does the same thing for a quarter of the cost. So I came up here and I said, just give me that Moto G power because I'll just video with that. And if I trash it and break it, it's, a, it's only like a, I think it's only like a $150, $175 phone. But they upgraded the camera technology in this and let everything go by the wayside from what I understand. But it has 125 gigabyte storage, 124, 125 or something like that. And then it has, it said on the reviews, a 64 megapixel front facing camera. Now, I don't know if that's true, but I know I don't mind it so far. So if I'm looking right now, geez.
how many megapixel is the front facing camera for the Moto G power? Oh, you know what? That phone doesn't have, this is the new active phone. That one's not, okay. That was my, my blonde moment. I think it says something about 64 or 65 megapixel or something, whatever. It doesn't matter. As long as I can get videos out, that's all I care about. So anyway, it was, it was an interesting day. Um, I do got to confess to something. I had to remove one of my videos. I got a call. Somebody got a call this morning and came and talked to me and said, uh, such and such is, we're not mad at you for putting out this video. We don't see anything wrong with what you put out. But a specific party uh, called and said, this video needs to be removed. Not that I'm in trouble or anything like that, but obviously I'm right over the target. So, uh, yeah, I'm not in trouble or anything. Nobody was mad at me for the video because they watched the video and they thought it was very appropriate. But because of what I was talking about, it kind of got into some gray areas. And the people that it would have affected the most called up and said, uh, -uh take it down. And then I kind of spoke my piece about, well, well, you're infringing on my freedom of speech, my rights. I didn't slander anybody. I didn't bash anybody. I didn't defame anybody. I only spoke the truth. So, uh. Yeah, that was told to me pretty much first uh, first thing this morning to get rid of it, and I was not happy about it because now I'm being controlled. So you guys know what that means. Yeah, either you let somebody control you or you do something about it. I'm on that. I'm on the verge of figuring out exactly what I want to do about it right now. Trust me. Um, yep, I can't say any more. Uh, that's pretty much it. So that's how my day went, just checking in with you guys and stuff. I uh, appreciate you all being patient. Let me get back to you when I can. I'm going to drive home right now. Uh, stop, get me a cold soda pop, relax, get off this thing for a little bit. And then tonight before I go to bed, I'll try to go through my messages, messages real quick and respond to everybody. It's been a rough day. I just need a little bit of a break without having to respond back so much. Thank you guys. I appreciate every one of you.